Hey guys, this is Dr. Joel with Metamersion. You are watching a mini lecture in the Flash Flood Review Series, where I review the most important topics for your board exams in as little time as possible. If you like this video, if this kind of thing is right up your alley, click on the lower link here for the Flash Flood Review Series, where you can check out more YouTube videos on similar topics. Also, if you watch a lot of these videos, and you want to save some precious time while you're studying and in the zone, go over to metamersion.com and get an account. In most cases, that will speed you up by skipping this part of the video and just jumping right into the meat of the lecture. Okay, let's get started. This video is on the clinical trial. And right off the bat, I need to emphasize that really only phases one, two, and three are the highest yield for you to understand. However, for completeness sake, I just want to hit briefly on phase zero and phase four. So starting with phase zero of a clinical trial, this is basically the very initial tests of pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. The researchers are giving very, very small doses of their new drug or therapy to a small group of uh, healthy people um, or possibly animals. It's not really important to remember the number of subjects in the phases of the trial, but just as long as you understand that the number of subjects gets larger and larger through each phase. Basically, in phase zero, they're just looking for the very earliest data on how the drug works on the body and how the body works on the drug. Next into phase one. Phase one is more or further testing into the safety of the drug. And the real question that they're asking here is, is this drug safe? So again, a very small group of healthy subjects. And by the time you get to phase one, you are pretty much always testing on human beings. But again, a very small dosage and a, a very small group of people who are healthy, they don't have any disease. We're just again, expounding the knowledge on what the side effects could be. Phase two is where we start working with larger groups of people who actually have a disease, the disease that we're trying to study. And the question for this phase is, does it work? Does the drug do what we thought that it was going to do in people with the disease? Side effects are continually monitored. In fact, side effects are never not monitored through phase two, three, four, for the entirety of a drug's life, we're constantly watching the side effects and recording those. Phase three is the final step before they finally decide if they can or can't sell the drug. They're confirming that it actually works. They're confirming that uh, compared to other treatments or other drugs, it works at least as good, if not better. If it is not as good as other similar drugs on the market, then they would have to evaluate from a business and marketing point of view if it's even worth the money that they're investing to continue with this drug. Lastly, phase four is done when the drug is out in the market. It is being used by actual patients. And you can think of it as a post-market surveillance. Basically, um, we're continuing to watch for adverse effects, for how well the drugs are working, and um, continuing to develop protocol on how to use it better and better. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you liked this video. If you stumbled on this video and you haven't seen Metamersion videos before, hey look, I'm doing all kinds of board review videos to help out with your studies for the USMLE and Comlex. Go check out the board review master index to get a feel for how much more material I'm putting out. I'm trying to put out a video or two a week until I cover all of the major high yield topics for your board exams. Subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, where I can improve, and last of all, good luck in school.